Hey, what's going on? Aaron with Phoenix here. I just came from a house that we did some full fire ants. I treated the entire yard for fire ants last month. Just checking in, making sure everything's good to go. No fire ants. Phoenix wins. Always. But the customer told me something, and that's what I want to talk about today. The every business person every everybody everybody says don't ever talk bad about another company well here's the problem <laughs> it's a good example i just had to stop the video because i saw another bug guy stopped on the side of the road just going to make sure that he was uh okay and uh, he was he was just using the phone so um it's a good company probably a good technician don't know him but the, everybody says don't talk bad about other companies but there's two companies I'm going to talk bad about and that's Aptive and uh, Alta now I get this every year every all us legitimate companies get this every year is these guys come around on their little segways or they come in a van and with a bunch of guys and they uh, flood a neighborhood and door knock trying to sell pest control and they're high 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 pressure and they promise you the world they promise you'll do a bunch of stuff that we know anybody who knows anything about pest control is not possible okay it's just a bunch of lies uh, basically what they do is they hire a bunch of most of the time a bunch of mormons from uh out of state that are uh on their summer break college kids and they train them for a couple weeks or whatever and then send them out they're not certified in pest control in tennessee you have to be certified in order to sell pest control so what they're doing is illegal uh, and how they've not been in trouble so far I, I really don't know tda needs to needs to get on that but they're high pressure they'll even come back twice three times a day to houses um, even when they've they've told them no don't uh, not I'm not interested and every year I get customers telling me that they've told them oh well they're they're not certified they're not this they don't do this um, or they're a terrible company or they don't even do this area and they're talking to my customers it's it's just bad business it's dirty business and here's the thing the um, the owners, I mean, what they're going to do is they're going to build this company up to a certain level, and then they're going to sell to the big boys. They're going to sell to Orkin or Terminex or, or Rollins or something like that. Or, uh, and then those customers are just, uh, now they have to deal with a new company. Uh, that Their point is to sell the company and just to grow it as, as big as possible and then get rid of it. That's not good customer service. These guys lie to my customers all the time, just flat lie. And it's because they don't know what the heck they're talking about. And they're going to be gone in a couple months and go back to college anyway. So, you know, what, what recourse is there for the customer? Um, they're just a, they're terrible companies, terrible companies. And who generally is going to buy a high pressure thing at the door? Who's usually going to do that? Somebody who's too timid to tell them to go pound sand or somebody who, or an old widow, sweet little old widow who just wants somebody to talk to and gets uh, scammed real easy. That's pitiful. So stay away from the high pressure door knocker sales on segways <laughs> uh, where they won't let you go it's just it's bad business it's bad business they don't give a crap about you right i plan to turn this thing over to my kids when i croak i want you to be around that's the difference i'm building an american business they're just doing business for the for the dollar there's more to it than that. I'm a bug geek. They're just business guys. You don't want bugs, me? Alta and Aptive. Y'all are trash. Sorry. I'm sure you got some good employees in there, but the way you do business is trash. Peace out.